Welcome to the homework for lesson nine. This is module six of grade two. Write your name on here first. And we're working on word problems with arrays. So draw an array for each word problem and write a uh, repeated addition equation to match each array. So for word problems, we always read it, draw it, write it. Well, for these, drawing it is going to be an array. And writing the equation, we already know it's going to be repeated addition. You still have to write an answer statement. And we still don't have to read. Melody stacked her blocks in three columns of four. How many blocks did Melody stack in all? Three columns of four. So you can make one column of four first and then make more columns until you have them all. But you may say columns of four means I'm going to have, and I'm going to draw squares for blocks. You can say three columns. You could say, okay, I need three columns. So just start with your three columns, and then it says columns of four. I'm going to put four in each column. So you can do it this way. You can either draw the column first, or you can draw the first row. And we're counting columns of four, so... Melody stacked 12 blocks. Now, if you wanted to, you could have also written um, three fours. You could have also added four threes. That would have worked also. Marty arranged the desks in the classroom into five equal rows. There were five desks in each row. How many desks were arranged? So I'm going to draw squares again five equal rows five in each row so that's five rows of five well let's just draw let's use the, my other strategy and just draw one row of five and then just then make it so that i have five of those rows so now that i have my one row of five i'm just going to keep copying that until I have five rows. And so I, I ran out of room and I need to add another row. I can either add it to the bottom or the top. And I'm going to have to go over the words somewhere here. So I'm going to go over at the top because I've already read that question, but I haven't read the one underneath. So that's where I'm going to draw my fifth row. So five rows of five, that's five fives. And we can just count by fives. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Marty arranged, and here's the, you know, that word is in the question, and it's in, it's in the story, so you should be able to look at that and see how to spell it. Marty arranged 25 desks. The baker made five trays of muffins. Each tray holds four. How many muffins did the baker make? Now, if you haven't baked any muffins before, you've never seen a, a muffin tray. It's like a sheet that has... It looks just like an array. So each tray has four muffins. 
and there's five trays. And we're not going to draw the trays of muffins, but we this says here we have five groups of four muffins in each group. So I can either draw five rows or five columns. I'm going to make five rows. My muffins are going to be round. So one, two, four, five. So I'm going to have five rows. And I'm going to have four muffins in each row. Try to be careful with your array. So it, neatness really counts with arrays because it's, it just doesn't look right. It's not an array. Uh, how many muffins is that? So five groups of four. So that's four plus. Oops. I'm thinking five and writing. I'm thinking four and writing five. And then that's what happens when you get into this rows and column stuff. Sometimes you're thinking one thing and writing another or saying one thing and thinking another. It happens. Just slow down and make sure what you're doing matches. Five, four, that should be 20, right? The baker made 20 muffins. The library books were on the shelf in four stacks of four. How many books were on the shelf? So we're going to have to think about columns and rows here. Just make a four stacks of four. You make a stack of four. And then you need four of those. Sometimes it's a little bit easier if you're not thinking row and column and it's just they're talking about a stack. A, I mean, a stack really is a column, isn't it? Okay, so there's four stacks of four. How many books are on the shelf? Well, here's our repeated addition equation. Right, because there's four, 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 four. Four columns of four or four rows of four. It's going to make the same array no matter how you say it. So 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4. And that's the same as 2 eighths. And 8 plus 8 is 16. There are 16 books. on the shelf. Draw Now we're drawing tape diagrams for word problems and then write a repeated addition equation to match the tape diagram. Marty placed <clears throat> stickers in columns of four and she made five columns. So you need five columns of, with four in each column. So that's five, the columns are the groups, so that's five groups of four. So we need five groups, there's a piece of tape, five groups, and four in each group. And now we add the fours. And that's 20. Let me clean that up. And we just need to an answer sentence now. Mary used, because otherwise we're not answering the question. Mary used 20. stickers. 
Jaden put his baseball cards into five columns of three in his book. How many cards did Jaden put in his book? So we say five columns of three. So it's five columns are the groups. So there's five groups. So same thing. We need a piece of tape with five groups. And there's three in each group. Five columns of three, five groups of three, five threes added together. And that's 15. Jaden. Fifteen cards. In his book. And now draw a tape diagram and an array. And then write a repeated addition equation. The game William bought came with three bags of marbles. Each bag had three marbles inside. How many total marbles came with the game? This would be a really great one for drawing a math picture, but we're already doing a tape diagram and an array. So we've got three bags. So a bag is a group, and each group has three inside. So I'm going to make rows. So I'm going to need for groups for my array. So I'm going to need three rows and three marbles in each. So each row is a each row is a bag. So and there's three three in the second bag and three in the third bag. And then now a tape diagram. I need three groups of three. So there's three bags. Three in this one, three in that one, three in that one. Repeated addition. Nine marbles came with the game.